Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you three different ways to remove items from a Python list, remove, del, and pop, and I'm going to explain to you when to use each one of those. So we're going to work through six different examples in code here in Python, and as usual, I post all the code on my GitHub site. I'll put the link down below in the comments so you can download the code and run it on your own. I set up a simple little function called get dogs, which just returns a list of dog names. So that way each example, we can start out with exactly the same list of six dog names and you'll see that spot is on there twice. It's number two and five are both spot. And there's a reason for I did that. So, uh, but let's take a look at it. And each time I'll print out um, the, the list after we do the remove. So the first method is pop. You use pop to remove the last item from a list if you don't pass in an index at all. Or you can remove any other item in the list by index, by passing in an index as an argument. And you also use pop if you want to get the, the returned value that you take off of that list. If you need to use that returned value for something, use pop. Because the other two methods don't return the value to you. They just remove it from the list. So the first example is to pop the last item from the list. And yeah, so you don't need an argument. You just put dogs.pop and that will automatically give you the last item on the list, which in this case is going to be spot. And then my print statement, I printed out the dog that I removed and the remaining list. So I'll save this and we'll run it. You can see how the output looks. So you can see the last spot there is no longer on the list. Chip is now the last item on the list, but spot is the one that we removed. You can see it right over here. So let's take a look at the next example, which also uses pop, but this time we pass in an index. I passed in index one, which will remove Rover. So we refresh the list again with the same, so we have the same starting list of dogs to start out with, but we're gonna remove index one, which is Rover, by passing in index one. And then we're gonna print out my dog, which should be Rover, and then the dogs list again. I'll save that. And yeah, so example two prints out um, the list without Rover, and it also prints out Rover. Here's dog number two that we, uh, we got. So that is pop. Pop is useful removing the last item on the list or any item by index. And most importantly, pop gives you the value back if you need to use that for something. We can use remove to remove items from a list we're going to delete by value using the remove. So in other words, we need to pass in an argument, which is the, the item that we want to remove. In our case, it's strings, right? So we need to pass in a string that matches one item on the list, and then it's going to remove the first one only. There are two spots on the list. We're only going to remove the first spot when I pass in this spot. So we, this is not an index. So we're going to pass in the item itself. Now, if you, for example, had integers on the list and you wanted to remove uh, an integer from the list, you don't pass in the index of that integer, you pass in the value of the integer that you want to remove from the list. It's going to find the first one in the list and remove it. So I'll show you how this works with spot. So we, there are two spots, and again, we only remove the first one. You can see this one is gone. So let's see, Fido, Rover, Duke, Chip, Spot. So the last spot is still there. Uh, the original list had a spot here in the middle, and that one is gone. So the first spot it finds it removes, but it doesn't remove anything after that stops. That is really all the remove function is used for. So our third method for removing items from a list is called del, which is short for delete. And del is a nice tool also, also used in some of the other Python data structures. You can use del to remove an item or a range of items. You cannot you remove a range in using the other two methods, right? But you can use uh, indexing with del. So first we'll just remove an item with index three, uh, del dogs of three, which is the fourth item on the list. Let's see. First we're gonna refresh our dogs and get the updated list. And then we're gonna delete item with index three, which is zero, one, two, three, should be Duke, right? Duke should be gone when we remove it, and then we print out dogs. Let's save this and run our code again. So yeah, you see Duke disappears from the list when we delete the item with index three. And for the fifth example, we're gonna delete a range of items. So we can use indexing in the square brackets here, Python indexing to delete more than one item. 
and I have one colon three, and we know that the three is non-inclusive, so we'll delete items one and two, with indexes one and two. That means the second and third items, which in our list is gonna be what, Rover and Spot. So the dogs we have left on the list is Fido, Duke, Chip, and Spot. So it removed uh, Rover in the first spot. So we have uh, just four dogs left on the list. Now let's take a look at our last example. Example number six here is deleting the entire list. Dell is the only one that allows you to do that. We just pass in dogs, uh, the name of the list, to Dell. Dell removes the entire list, so the dog's variable will be unusable, it'll be undefined after this. So be careful using Dell dogs because it doesn't just remove one dog or even all the dogs from, from the list and give you a blank list, it removes the list altogether. I will save this and we'll see how that works. See, when I try to print dogs after removing it, you see you get a name error, dogs is not defined because we've completely deleted the list, dogs. I hope this video is helpful for you. If so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.